Hello, my name is Scott Kaufman. I'm one of the green shirts of Osceola County. That means that I am a teacher who happens to work at the district office now, and my job is to make sure that teachers who enter a classroom, especially teachers who enter a classroom with this on the wall, have an idea of how the technology is gonna work. So I'm here today to walk you through all the different features of your smart board, or smart panel, I should say. I'm also going to talk about the document camera that's in your room and how it might be a little bit different than what you're used to. And finally, I'm gonna to end today by talking about this. This is my audio enhancement microphone, and this is going to ensure that everybody in my classroom can hear me clearly, and I don't have to shout, and I know some, what some of you are gonna say, I, don't, uh, I have a really loud voice, so I don't usually shout, but this is different. This is audio enhancement. So we'll talk about that when we get to the, uh, to the audio enhancement side of our, um, of our lesson today. This though, this is the main event. This is the Smart MX panel. And I'm gonna basically just start at the very beginning by giving you a quick tour of what all the buttons do, what the features are of this, and we'll continue from there. So let me get out my phone so we got two cameras going here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is show, I'm gonna take a picture of this front panel so that you can see what I'm pressing to get the different things up. The first button that I have is the home button. No matter what I have on my panel, if I click this button, I'm gonna get back to this panel. And what you're looking at is basically Android. If you think of this entire board as a big Android tablet, that's what we have here. We have a big Android tablet and it has different apps on it. I have a whiteboard app that we'll get into here in a little bit. I have a web browser. I've got camera apps. I got, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I could use and it's all connected to the internet, even if I don't have my laptop connected. So think about that. As we go through today, I want you to think about, wait a minute, if this board can do so much even without my laptop, what could I leave a substitute or what could I have the kids do in my absence when, I don't, when I'm not there and I take my laptop away? We'll get into all that in just a minute, but this first button, the home button, always gets you back to this main menu. The second button, when I press that, takes a look at all the inputs that are on the back of this. I have an input here on the front that I can plug stuff into. I've got some wires connected here on the side. Uh, in HDMI 2 and HDMI 1. So depending on what I have plugged into the board, I can quickly uh, choose that input and it switches very quickly. This happens to be the input for my computer. Again, if I wanna go back to the Android tablet, I click the home button and I'm back to Android tablet. So that's what the second button does. The first and second button, the first one gives me back. The second one allows me to choose which input to go through. The third one kind of looks like a little nightshade, one of those old style nightshades. And when I click that, actually, I'm gonna go to my computer so you can see what that looks like. When I click the nightshade, it like pulls the shade down so that you cannot see what's on my screen. That means that as a teacher, I can still use my laptop and nobody knows what I'm writing on. Think about that. These panels, they go beyond just educators. Maybe the military could use this or a business boardroom has this in here. Those kind of uh, businesses and, and military installations, they do have things up on boards. A lot of times they don't want people to see in passing. So this might be a really good feature for them. I'm gonna press this once again and get my screen back because in an education environment, a lot of times we want something similar but a little bit different and that's the very next button pause. If I pause the screen, it does very similar. This is not an active screen anymore, but you can still see what's on it. That means that I can still do my grades. I can do attendance right now. The kids aren't going to see any of that stuff. Even though my screen looks like it's up here from my laptop, it's paused. Therefore, this is a frozen image and I can still use my laptop. So the difference between the nightshade and the pause button, they both freeze the screen, but one of them displays what's on the screen and one of them does not. So that's the difference between those two. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause, make sure I'm unpaused, there we go. The next two buttons are volume down and volume up. 
Pretty self-explanatory, we're used to those. And finally, I have a power button. So if I don't wanna use the board or if I want the board to turn on, I've got the power button right there.